What is up, Humanoid Nation? So, I didn't realize today was the day until one of my friends told me on Facebook, hey, do you realize it's been a year already since your surgery? And I went like, holy shit, has it been a year already? And showed me the picture of when I went for surgery, before surgery, which I'll show you now. Yeah, one year ago today is when I went for my surgery to uh, replace my defibrillator also put an extra lead in and to replace the battery because basically my battery was about to die on the defibrillator. In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll provide the link to you below of when I finally got recovered from it because it was a one month of recovery. But yeah, I'm gonna say this defibrillator thing that they gave me, well, I had a defibrillator before. Well, first I had a pacemaker, then a defibrillator, now I, Got another new defibrillator, top of the line, new technology. Now whenever I know that my heart's on a low rate or something, it hasn't happened yet, it'll sing a song, which I'm not used to. Because I found that out when I was in the hospital, when they were testing out my gadget after the surgery. They go like, okay, now you're working up, we gotta test your thing. I go, okay. As usual, like I think they're gonna test it. I'm like, I'm here gonna hear some buzzing sounds and all that stuff. The stuff they usually do. All of a sudden I hear a song like doo 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 I'm looking around, it's like, where is that coming from? And they go like, oh, that's from the defibrillator. No, no one told you? It's like, no, no one told me. Well, I guess like I'm a singing heart now. My heart sings now. By the way, they stitched the extra lead onto my heart. Holy crap, technology, man. They stitched something onto your heart? So why did I need an extra lead? Because I had two leads and they want to put the third one in to help my heart in rhythm because it's like wasn't in rhythm before because of my Marfans and shit. They tried and tried before, failed countless times. But this time they went for, in through a different approach. Instead of going through here, which I have to go through every eight years to replace my defibrillator because yeah, every eight years I have to replace my defibrillator because the battery dies and shit. Instead of going through here, they went through the side and that took a month to recover because like it basically felt like someone just stabbed you in the sides. Yeah, so that's happening. But yeah, those are the countless surgeries that I went through. I know in the future I'm going to go for more because like Marfan's man, Marfan. I'm not looking forward to when I have to get my second aortic valve replacement. If that ever happens because like I took, went for my first aortic valve replacement. Well, not replacement. I was supposed to get a pig valve. But once they got in there, they could just w repair it. Doctors, whatever, man. If they say they can repair it, and it's good. I'm just glad I never got a pig valve, because you. Can, if I had a pig valve, I'd be hearing this shit 24-7, like... Because it's a mechanical thing. But imagine... You hear that every time. Imagine when you see a very hot girl. You It would so be obvious if you like that girl, or you just want to bang her, because... You see a hot girl, you go like I'm going like, damn man, my pig valve gave it away. One of my coworkers told me, he's like, hey, so I guess that makes men actually pigs. I was like, ha, funny, funny. No, but she was kidding. But yeah, imagine if I ever did get a pig valve, it would be so obvious. Girls would not, would know right away. I feel sorry for the men who actually have pig valves and have to try and like not get boners around hot girls and have their pig valves give, give it away. Yeah. But yeah, that's what's going on. One year ago today is when I went for my surgery. The surgery was awesome. Well, not awesome that I went for surgery. I'm saying the surgery was, helped me in the end because before that I was like so fucked up. Well, not really fucked up. I was just too lazy. I didn't want to do anything because my, my defibrillator was dying and like I was on the verge of laziness. Cause yeah, when your defibrillator battery dies, it's not doing it anymore, so yeah. Of course you're gonna be lazy 24 seven, but I was so lazy, I didn't wanna do anything. I had to force myself to do shit. And now after surgery, I actually am animated, I wanna do stuff. Also, I don't breathe as hard as I once was. Even my mother said that when I go visit her, she was like, you don't breathe as hard as you used to. Or whenever I stay over ahead of her place, I don't snore as loud as I used to, which is a good thing. And I don't use the fan 24-7. Okay, correction. 
I only use the fan when it's extremely hot. It, in Edmonton here, it's been hot for so many days. Holy fuck. But I used the fan during winter when it was cold. I don't know why I just used it, but because my body temperature was fucked up. Now I don't use it in winter. I don't even, I put that shit away, the fan. But yeah, like I said, the surgery did well for me. And that's pretty much it. When one year already, holy shit. Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Take it easy, Human Donation. Human Donation, freak out. Bye.